January 25 there are cards, such as Evgas RTX 3050 XC Black, that are listed for $250. That stock will sell out quickly, but if you can grab a card at list price, it's a great deal in today's market, and the much more likely scenario that you miss the fractions of a second to buy a card at list price, it's tough to say the RTX 3060 is the more useful card for most people, as our benchmarks below show, but it depends on what price you can find the RTX 3050 and RTX 3060 at to draw any firm conclusions, there's about a 28% difference in price between the RTX 3050 and RTX 3060, the RTX 3050 is trimmed down in a number of ways, but not at that same 28% across the board, there's about a 43% difference in core count, for example, which carries across CUDA, ray tracing, and tensor cores, the slight reduction in boost clock speed doesn't impact performance much, you can easily boost the RTX 3050 with automatic GPU. Overclocking it's not that the RTX 3050 has 8 GB of GDDR6 memory, that's plenty for modern games, especially for the 1080p market, the RTX 3050 is aimed at the problem is the memory bus. With less memory and a smaller memory bus, the RTX 3050 has about 38% less memory bandwidth than the RTX 3060. Memory bandwidth than the RTX 3050.